Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create these two patterns using Python. So these two patterns are also called the half diamond and the full diamond. Okay. Now the complexity of this video is somewhat increased rather than the previous video. In the previous video, we have only used the for, for loop and range function. But in this video, we have to use if and else conditions also. So you can see that we are increasing the complexity step by step. Okay. So first let me list out the fundamental concepts that you must be aware of so that you can understand video very clearly. Although I'll explain you each and every line in very detail, but still if you are aware of these concepts, it will be a plus point for you. Okay. So first of all, you should be aware of what is the difference between a string and an integer data type. You should know how a for loop works. You should know how a range function works and you should know how both of them work in combination. You should know how a, a if and else condition work. Okay. So these are the fundamental concepts that you should understand before starting this video. I have created dedicated video for each of this topic. The link will be provided below. But I would recommend you to watch those video after this video because I'll try to explain you these concepts very clearly in this video only. But still, if you are not able to totally understand them, then you can go through those videos also. Okay, so enough of introduction. Now let's go to our editor to write our code. Okay. Okay, so now we are into our editor. So our first task is to uh, create a couple of variables. First is A and second is B. Now let me explain you what these variables will be used for. A is just a initial variable. I'll show you where we are gonna use it in just a bit. And B is the number of stars that we maximally want in our diamond. Okay. So there you can see we have specified B is equal to 5 here and there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the row having the maximum star. Okay. So now let's create a for loop for uh, let's say K in range. And first let me write then I'll explain you what each of the values are. Okay. So now this is a for, for loop and range function combination. So first let me explain you what is range function. So range function will create a list of these values. So let me explain each parameter here. First is the starting value, which is zero. And second is the ending value, which is B into two. B is five and into two is 10. So this range function will create a list which will be having value from 0 to 10, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Because in range function, the first value is included, which is 0, and the last value is excluded, which is 10. Okay, so this will create a list of numbers from 0 to 9. Okay, then this list is provided to this for loop, which will iterate through each value. Now, if we print our k, then we can see that our for loop is going through each of the values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so now let's take a look at our half diamond. So there you can see first the number of stars are increasing. Then after a specific value, the star number are decreasing. Okay. So this is where we are going to use our a and b variable. So let me remove this print function from here. And then we'll uh, simply write a if and else condition. If i is less than 4, which is the number 0, 1, 2, 3, then we have to print. Uh, first of all, let's specify the star button here. Star. This is the symbol of multiplication. And we have to multiply this by a, which is first having the value one. Okay. So in the first iteration, the number of star will be printed one, but we want it to increase after each iteration. So what we'll simply do is we'll add 
one after each iteration so let's try to understand this once again so the for loop works and the value in k iterates through the list which is generated by this range function which is having the value from 0 to 9 okay so if the value of k this is k here okay so if the value of k is less than 4 which is value 0 1 2 3 the starting of the star right we want to print the star and we want to increase the number because initially the number of stars are increasing okay but after a certain value else after the value increases to 4 or beyond that we want to print the star uh, which will be the same uh, that we have written above it will be multiplied by uh, just a second it will be multiplied by a okay but this time we want to decrease the number so we'll deduct the value of a by one okay so let me run this and show you the output and there you can see our half diamond is created so let me again explain you what i have done here this is the list okay so let me create the list 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so this is the list which will be created from this range function then this k will iterate through each value let's go through each of the values first is k which is less than 4 so 1 so star is printed for only one time because the value of a is 1 but now the value of a is increased to 2 then we again go to our uh, while loop and this time the value of k is 1 which is again greater than 4 but this time the star is multiplied by 2 because the value of a has become 2 so this will continue until the value of k becomes 4 which is not less than 4 so this will come under this else condition and hence the star will be printed 4 times because the last value was 4 here and then the value is decreased by 1 uh, sorry the last value is 5 so this will be decreased by 1 and it will become 4 here and it will go on until this value becomes 9 and and our for loop is broken okay so we have created our half diamond shape now i am giving you 5 seconds to think that how you can use this same code to create a full st full diamond shape now we have done something similar in our previous video so if you have watched my previous video then you must be familiar with that concept okay okay so now your five seconds are over so let me explain you what is the difference between this and this shape the difference is the number of blank spaces present okay so there will be an introduction of one more variable which is the star shape uh, sorry the uh, empty space so we'll create the empty space and we'll multiply this by b okay so initially the value of b we have to uh, place a addition symbol also here so first of all initially the value of b is 5 okay but after each iteration when we are increasing the number of stars we also want to increase the uh, we also want to decrease the number of spaces okay so if the number of stars are increasing the number of spaces are decreasing and if the number of stars are decreasing the number of spaces are increasing so this is what the pattern will be so we'll copy this here and this time uh, just a second I have left this so we'll uh, minus here and we'll add the value b is equal to b plus 1 okay just a second b is equal to b plus 1 okay so let's save this and run our program and uh, just a second 
and yeah i just forgot that one thing that we also have to increase the number of stars so we have to multiply the number of stars also here uh, let me show you the image there you can see first we are having two stars then four then six then eight okay so this is how the pattern goes so let me save this and run it and okay so there you can see this is what i have promised you to create at the starting of the video first the half diamond and second the full diamond okay so this is it this was a short video in which i have told you how to use the for loop and if and else condition okay so if and else condition was a addition in this video from the previous one and now in our future videos we'll try to add some more concepts and try to create a more complex pattern okay so meet in my next lecture bye bye